Student, top, final question for you. You've said that you want the deal with AJ to be done by the end of Monday. Monday? Monday? Monday is the deadline. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury asked former world champion champion to join his Usyk camp. He says, I know what needs rectifying. Tyson Fury is slowly ramping up the intensity of his preparations for the huge rematch against Alexander Usyk later this year. And he needs to win. When Jim, when the Gypsy King first fought Usyk, we know what happened. Okay. And the former two-weight world champion and longtime friend, Billy Joe Saunders, has now revealed to Talk Sports that he has been asked by to be a part of the camp in order to help with preparations. He said, you got to give him credit. I know there's a lot of speculation about the ninth round, but he didn't go down and he was still on his feet fighting. He's asked me to go away for training camp with him. So I'm delighted to say I will be going away with him. I know that even when it came to sparring and other bits and bobs, there was stuff missing out of it that needs to be rectified this time. I believe Tyson will win the next fight, and I believe that he will win by knockout as well. Those are the words of Billy Joe Saunders, and let me counterpunch. Well, we got a southpaw with Billy Joe Saunders. What Billy Joe's, what, about 5'11", so the, the height may not be there. But the stance is definitely definitely there. The question is, can Billy Joe Saunders? Because I haven't seen the, the 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 physical condition of Billy Joe lately. Hell, for what I remember, he looked like Santa Claus. He was fat and round and chubby and bubbly, right? You know what I mean. So I don't know if he lost that weight. Hopefully he did. Hopefully he can. You know, but can I think? Can he emulate Usyk? Sure. Why couldn't he? You know his style of uh. Of, of boxing is not too far off. I don't think is it, it is as ag aggressive. I think Billy Joe has more of a boxer mover type style, you know, kind of like an Eddie's Landy Lada almost. But can he emulate those feints and uh, uh, pivots? You know, I think he can do a decent job. Um, can he do like an excellent job? No, because I, I they just don't fight alike. But I think. He, I could see how and why Tyson Fury would bring him in. For one, to get his ass a check because he will be away at camp. But for two, you know, to probably possibly get him in shape if he's not in shape anyway. You see what I mean? So I, I think in hindsight, though, uh, looking at those guys, you know, Billy Joe versus Alexander Usyk, you know, I, I see why he would want to bring somebody else in because Billy Joe can move. You know what I mean? So I think the footwork... Uh, could be warranted for the training camp of Tyson Fury. You know what I mean? And uh, he is, you know, Tyson, of course, is probably bigger than any damn body as far as height and size and stuff. So, you know, he always will have that. But I'm going to counterpunch something before I jump off of here uh, concerning Billy Joe. Uh, Billy Joe, I know he's a friend of, uh, of, of Tyson Fury. But, you know, um, what he said about, but he you know, didn't go down and he was still on his feet fighting. Well, that's the problem. The problem was he wasn't. He wasn't no longer fighting. He was just getting knocked around the damn ring. So we need to clear that up. Yeah, he didn't go down, no. But they counted it a knockdown to avoid stopping the fight. So they did Tyson Fury a solid. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Tyson Fury asking his old friend, his friend and traveling buddy companion, Billy Joe Saunders, to join the camp with him because he knows what needs to be rectified. Of course, please subscribe. Bars. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.